Hello, Leo. This is going to be your third party reading. I hope you're doing well. Uh, the reason why you guys are getting your third party reading first is because you guys, well, one of the first ones that are being done uh, is because you guys really showed out. You guys really showed me a lot of love, views, comments, shares, subscribes, uh, extended purchases. You and Taurus are one of the top ones, okay, All, as always. So I appreciate everything so much, and I will always make sure to get you guys posted up first. Leo's is just going to be, that's how it's going to be from now on. I'm going to do the signs that actually, you know, are resonating with my stuff and that type of energy first and then i'm going to do you know the other signs later on in the month so this is going to be your third party reading for january okay so it'll be from the time you're watching until january uh what is this i mean i guess the end of january so it might resonate now for you it might resonate later on in january okay so right now what i'm doing is pull some astrology cards and then i'm going to pull some um <clears throat> cards for this is for you here, Leo, you and your person. This is for your person's energy, and this is for the third party that they're dealing with, okay? So just so you're clear, it starts here, here, and there, okay? Um, if you would like the extended version of this reading, we're going to go over the outcome between you and your person and the outcome between them and their other person. We'll also be pulling from a brand new deck in the extended. You guys know I like to pull from a fresh deck. So if you're looking to do that, check me out. What else was I going to say? Um, yearly readings are going to be extended for the first week of January. I have a few people that want yearlies, but they just couldn't get them, you know, because of the holidays and stuff like that. They had other priorities that they needed to take care of. So I completely understand that. Um, so weekly, I'm sorry, yearly readings, the last day to purchase a yearly reading will be January 7th. Okay. I also have career readings that are available for $25. You guys see that card that's not supposed to be in there. <laughs> that's how you know I was doing a pick a card. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Um, I'm doing career readings for $25. Okay, you can cash app or PayPal me for those. And I think that's pretty much it. I think I'm going to start love and sex readings, but I haven't posted about those yet. So I am going to do sex-based readings. Uh, if you want a reading for you and your person or you just want sex reading for yourself just to see how sex and love is going to look for 2020, um, you can check that out in the description box or you can email me, okay? That card that's not in there is really bugging. That's not supposed to be in there is really bugging me. All right, there we go. All right, Leo, let's see what's going on for you and your person. And then this other party that they got going on here. All right, the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So the overall energy is the fact that something new is about to take place, okay? Fresh and new, something that has not been going on before. This is a gift. This is something fresh, okay? Coming out of the ethers with the creepy Mario looking hand. Hold on, is that a Mario? No, they don't have a glove. It's just creepy as hell. Okay, whatever. I wish I would see a creepy ass hand coming out the sky. Okay, anyway, whether it had a big ass pentacle or not, it's creepy. All right, so we're seeing how this person is thinking about you, your person. Leo, you could be connecting with a Taurus or Libra. I know Leos and Libra have had a lot of things going on. I've actually heard about Leos and Tauruses as well. So um, Leo, your person could be a Taurus or Libra, but they're definitely thinking of you thinking of you as the Empress. Whether you're male or you know, man or woman, I know I have a lot of male Leos watching. Hello, my male Leos. Um, they think of you as the top. The Empress is the top, okay? She's the wifey. There is no one above the Empress, literally, okay? Like the Queen's Wish. It's like you wish or the kings, they wish they could be the emperor. Which king doesn't want to be an emperor, right? What queen doesn't want to be an empress for the most part? I mean, some are okay with the role of a queen, but they see you as the empress. The empress is top, okay? She runs the kingdom. She does everything, okay? You, she's also pregnant. So some of you, this person could want to get you pregnant. For some of you out there are pregnant. I do know some pregnant Leos, okay? So um, that could be a thing or they just want you to be the mother of their children. You might already be the mother of their children, but they're seeing you as the top. Okay, so a lot of love here and a lot of respect for you, Leo, coming from your person. Okay, <clears throat> no, that's how they're, uh, let's see how they're viewing and feeling about you, the eight of cups. Okay, so you have you probably walked away from this person, Leo. We've been in a lot of this energy for you and your spread. So this is not anything new. This is not anything that we are surprised about. We've actually been talking about this a little minute in your third party readings, Leo. This person, you and this person being in separation, although there's a lot of love. And for a lot of you, I feel like this is an in and out thing. It's like the love and so is so intense, but the circumstances don't match up with what you would like. 
like so you guys come in and out of like connection with this person but there's a lot of love here especially if this person's thinking of you as the empress and they're with someone else i mean so there's no two empresses in this deck they already chose you to be their empress so if they're with somebody else then the other person i'm sorry just does not compare a lot of people get upset but look at the cards you can see it all right and it's not because i'm a leo and not because we're cocky and arrogant it's just what the card said Okay, and if you want to triple confirm that, they have the moon energy here. This is a, one of my two of cups cards in this deck. Um, this is Venus and Cancer for me. It doesn't have to be, but it does represent Cancerian energy, which is a very deep energy. It talks about the soul. This is the moon, okay? Um, so emotionally, this person feels very deeply for you. They feel from you from their moon sign, not just their sun sign, their moon sign. So emotionally, this person is very connected to you. This represents deep feelings. And this is your energetic energy from the astrology card. So um, I do feel there's emotional distance between you and this person. You guys are not connecting right now, either physically or you're just, you guys are in separation. They feel like you've walked away from them. Why is the Eight of Cups here for Leo's person? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Clarify this Eight of Cups. Now, for some of you, I'm hearing um, that you might be married, Leo. For some of you, you might already have someone. You could already be connecting with a Taurus or Libra. You could be married, so this person feels like you walked away from them because you're already in another relationship. For some of you out there, that's what I'm hearing. It doesn't have to be the case, but for a few of you watching, cross-watching for the Leo who may be in a third party, that could be what it is. Now, this is not for that. If you're watching, if you're being put in a third party situation by a Leo, you'll want to watch your reading, but you might be able to get some information from here. Sometimes cross-watchers do watch this. So we have the magician energy here. So this definitely could be a twin flame energy. This is divine masculine for me. Um, so some of you Leos have either walked away from your divine counterpart. Your divine counterpart, again, could be an Aries, Gemini, or Virgo person. Um, this tells me one or two things. Either your masculine, your person walked away from you, Leo, or you walked away from this person. And I feel like with the magician here, it's because someone couldn't get their stuff together. Okay, someone couldn't step into that energy that they should have, their divine energy. Okay, <clears throat> let's clarify this magician one more time, please. The Ten of Pentacles, yeah. This person, either someone's already in a commitment, that could definitely be it, and they need to get out of that, or someone wants commitment, but they're not ready, they're not stable enough with the Two of Pentacles. Maybe this person definitely, I mean, obviously they have another party. I don't know if they're married to their other party, though. They definitely could be. For some of you, they're already married to someone else, and for some of you, they are not married. They just don't want to let go of their other option to get connected and get married, okay? For some of you, I don't feel like their marriage is already in the works, but it could be. Someone can already be married, okay? So that's a lot of information on your side leah let's go into your person let's see what their energy is the fifth house wow you could be dealing with another leo for some of you this is an 11 number this person um right now has a lot of options in love okay i can definitely tell you that with the five of wands here in the fifth house this person either has a lot of options or they feel you do but let's see what this five of wands is here for Clarify the five of wands. They're also in a creative space in their life, so they might they could be trying to create something for themselves. Clarify this five of wands, please. Clarify this five of wands, please. Three. Four of swords. Yeah, this person isn't making any moves right now. They have a lot of options in their life. They have a lot of conflict. They do miss you, though. This is five of pentacles. Okay, there it is. Five of Pentacles, the Six of Swords wanting to come out reverse. If you moved on from this person, um, they do want you to come back. And this could be another fire sign, or this is you, Leo. This is the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. All right, but why are they not making any moves towards Leo? What is this Four of Swords about, which to me is kind of a rude energy, but it's kind of like ignoring you or ignoring this connection. What's this Four of Swords about? Maybe you guys are fighting and you guys are not on good terms, so this person is just not trying to resolve that right now. Queen of Wands. <laughs> Either you took a break from them, Leo, or they took a break from you, or you're dealing with another fire sign, because we just had the King of Wands. For some of you, you're just dealing with your divine counterpart, whether they're a fire sign or not. Um, I, I really am really interested, because I'm drawn to these two faces. So this person may go through bouts of feeling happy and then sad. Like This person may be feeling kind of bipolar about your absence in their life. Like They may feel like they're okay with it at some points, and then it goes to them being like sad 
okay? I also feel like you're the one who broke it off, Leo. So this person may not know what to do with the Seven of Cups. They don't know what to do because honestly, they still have options in their life. They're still dating. This, this is someone who's dating, okay? So that you broke it off because you want commitment. They also want a commitment with you, but they're not ready. They're not wanting to settle down. So this is why you broke it off with them. For a lot of you, this is what I'm seeing, okay? So let's go ahead and get to the other person because that's what we're here for. We don't want to spend too much time on you and your person, Leo, because I know you want to know what's going on with this other party for those of you who are dealing with the third party situation. So what they're thinking of their other person, wow, okay, didn't expect that. The tower, uh, you could, they could be connecting with a Scorpio, of course. Uh, this is also Uranus energy, for, so it could be Aquarius as a reader for me. So they could be connecting with an Aquarius or Scorpio. But this doesn't look too damn good. This could be where all this Five of Wands energy that your person is experiencing is coming in because they're coming up as a Five of Wands. So there's either competition in their love life, which I feel the very strongly there is with this fifth house energy up here. They're dating. Um... Or they have one person that in particular that they were holding on to and maybe now they're single and dating and the person that they were holding on to, things are definitely blowing up with them and this person. Like literally it's the tower. So let's clarify this tower. Why is this tower here? Why is this tower here for their other person, for Leo's person's other person? Why is this tower here? Let me keep this one right here. The chariot, some changes are being made here. Someone's moving. There's moves being made. Chariot and the tower. Somebody can be connected with the cancer. Give me one more. What's this chariot? What are they moving towards? What's this change? What's this change coming in for Leo's other person and their person? This third party. What's this change coming in? Someone's gearing up to do something in this, uh, in this third party, in this third relationship here. Two of Wands. Someone wants to go in a new direction. This could be your person or your or your person's other person. Yeah. Okay. So someone's ready to leave this this relationship here, Leo. Your other person, their other relationship is kind of winding down. Okay. Um, I'm sorry if that if that confuses you, but this is for Leo. Okay. We've already talked about your energy. This is your person, Leo, that you're in love with or connecting with, and this is their other party. And with their other party. Um, Someone's headed in a new direction. Someone wants their freedom. I feel like this is your person because they feel like things are blowing up here. They may have already, they may have told this person they want to leave. Okay. Um, there's definitely someone about to head towards something else. And with this energy, honestly, there, this person is looking towards your, your, your way, Leo. Like even this fool card is looking at you. This fool card is looking your direction and this two of wands. This person is looking your direction. So I think that they have told their person that they're ready to leave. They may not have necessarily told them that they're going towards their queen of wands. Let me show you how this person's looking at the queen of wands so you guys can see what I'm seeing. See what I'm saying? They're looking at you. This is you. This person's also, again, looking at you. They want to they wanna go for it, okay? And they're probably telling this person that, or they've already told them that with the tower. Okay, let's see how they're feeling about this person, the queen of swords. Um... <sighs> I don't like to say this because some people are air signs watching this and I don't want Queen of Swords people to get upset. But Queen of Swords, as we know, usually you should know by now that the Queen of Swords is known as the card of the woman who does not play any games. Like she is the scariest queen if we're talking about like as far as getting an attitude and flipping out on people. Now, Queen of Wands, don't get me wrong, especially if you got a good August Leo, like a late August Leo, they can flip the fuck out too. But a Queen of Swords, she's not even a flipper out. She's just like, this is what it is. I'm cutting things off. She's not even gonna argue with you for all. The Queen of Wands is passionate. She'll argue with you. The Queen of Swords is just gonna cut you out. And she might, she might make it so there's no rebuttals, there's no debates, okay? So that's the difference, honestly. But the Queen of Swords, this also, this they're feeling this about this person. So this is their energy of being detached. This is a very transactional connection. There may be children involved here. This could be someone that they have children with. But again, we're getting this, the Queen of Swords is cutting someone out. So they could be getting cut off by their other person, Leo. Your person that you're in love with is probably getting cut off by their person because their person is tired of the back and forth. They're like, if you wanna be with Leo, then go be with Leo. Or this person is cutting their, uh, your, your person is cutting their third party off because they're tired of, whatever is going on in this situation. This Queen of Swords is definitely indicating someone cutting someone off or detached energy, very transactional. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Six of Swords. Someone's taking the children and they're moving on. Wow, 10 of Swords. Betrayal. Either this third party feels betrayed by your person, Leo, or your person feels betrayed by this third party. There might've been children here and that could have been the only reason why they were, they were making this work or trying to make this work. 
But someone wants their freedom regardless of there being children involved or not. Someone is ready to move on. So if this relationship is on the outs, I see it ending in the next six to ten weeks. Okay, if not now, and I think it's due to betrayal. This is the long-term relationship. Leo, this is the newer, you, to me, for some of you out there, it doesn't have to be. But for this this person here, Leo, and you, you guys are the relationship that's forming and coming together. This relationship is an older relationship here, where there's children already established, there's history here, there's possible past betrayals here. This, to me, is something that needed to end. And you guys know I'll say when something, in my opinion, needed to end. So that's just what I'm getting, okay? Um... Sorry, guys. Street sweeper's about to go past. I'm so happy because I moved my car. I'm like, hold on. I'm not going to get a parking ticket, right? Oh, my God. Hurry up and go. Okay. So, hopefully, you guys can hear me. I don't want to stop too long on you guys' video. Um, but, yeah. Okay. So, their energy with this person is Aries energy, which is a very selfish energy. Like, the Aries, I mean, if you're Aries watching this, I'm, I'm sorry. But you know what your sign is, okay? It's literally about the self. It's I am which is 13 13 13 okay um i feel like yeah see full energy here aries energy here someone is leaving someone is choosing themselves someone's choosing their happiness and freedom in this relationship it's either your person or their person okay i feel like it's their person i think it's mutual honestly honestly i think it's mutual because your person i think this is your person this full energy and then your their, and their other party is this queen of swords whether it's a gemini um whether it's a Gemini or Aquarius person or just someone cutting them out. I think that this is a mutual breakup here. I think your person is trying to choose themselves. I think they've been trying to choose themselves. Okay. So this is interesting though. The four swords is what really kills me because through all of this change that's going on and you sitting pretty in mind in your business, your person isn't really making any moves either. So we're definitely going to have to go to the extended now because I got to see why throughout all of this, your person is kind of chilling. I think that they're just dating and biding their time, not so much biding their time. I think that they realize that they can't fix anything with you until this third party stuff is over. So I think that this person is doing like pleasurable things, like fifth house things, things that make them feel good. But I don't think that they're actually dealing with the issue at hand because they can't yet. I think that they're doing things to distract themselves from you is what I'm getting. Because this is where their feelings are. Like this is two totally different energies. This is moon energy, soul cancerian energy then this is aries energy this is about wanting to break free wanting to do things on their own when it comes to this relationship here so let's go ahead and get into the extended leo we're going to go over there and see what's going to happen with this person if they're going to move their ass or also see if this is actually a real breakup it looks like it is to me here it looks like this thing is over with here but we'll go ahead and check out check that out in the extended um and we'll also pull more astrology cards so i'll see you over there leo make sure that you guys like share comment i don't have to tell you guys this because you always do but i really appreciate it and if you want the extended it will be linked in the comments below and any readings that I'm offering will be linked in the description box. Okay. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye Leos.